when we look into here, it's basically just to structure the way that I will proceed the presentation. So first, I will be um, talking about securing your network. So you see there the 5G security assurance as one of the ways, and that's target, targeted to secure the 5G core, radio, transport slices. And then we have the other way, which is, uh, which is around enabling uh, uh, the creation of uh, optional security services with the creation of the slice. So working together with the slice orchestrator. So just to give you a visual feeling uh, of the 5G security assurance, and before I explain you in more detail what we can detect and how, let me just show you in very high level how um, a 5G security user interface can look like. So we might be looking here into having a threat score that can basically summarize the probability that a certain network element will be successfully attacked. So if this is a number, for example, between 0 and 100, when we reach the 100, means that the network element is already under attack. We also have here something very important, which is the 5G topology view. So we will be able to look from the 5G RAN perspective, transport, core, and slices, if you can see it there on the top, but we will go into that with a bit more detail. So we'll be able to see for each of these areas of the network, the threat score, which are the most uh, affected um, virtual network functions, which are the incidents which are more prevalent on each of these. Then, of course, when we click a specific incident, then we will see, uh, for example, a description of those um, uh, incidents and the different actions which are recommended to handle that incident together at the same time with the visibility on the 5G network topology of the functions that which are affected. Then, of course, when we we need to take actions, and once again, we can deep dive more into the functions, uh, or the network functions, which are in the scope of this playbook to solve this specific problem. So you can see them there highlighted. And these are basically, if you look there into the right, the actions that were um, available on the playbook, which was defined as a solution to automatically solve this incident. Now, another very important uh, view is the slice view. So here you can see um, all the slices that are created uh, on this um, customer. Uh, so you will see if their threat score is high or not. You will have a fresh uh, threat intelligence feed, which will not only point to news which are relevant to the 5G network elements that you have here, but also security vulnerabilities, audit results, and so on. Besides having the visibility on the, on the threat intelligence, you can also have these to be inputs to calculate the threat score. And then, of course, you can drill in on each of the slices and you can see the topology and have an idea of which are the network elements uh, which are serving uh, this slice that have most of the incidents and most of the severe incidents. Okay, now time for a 5G security demo with Gerald. Gerald, stay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Yeah, we talk about here a practical example, especially secure the slicing. And in a, in a cloud native environment, we talk about a software-based architecture. And that brings me also to the fact that in an open 5G environment, it needs security from the beginning. It doesn't have to be an afterthought anymore. And that's exactly how it works uh, in, in, in a slicing environment. And exactly each of these steps I will walk with you through right now. And uh, that represents also some of the use cases that uh, we have done recently with one of our customers. So what does it mean as a security assurance for cloud native service environment? Hmm. So first of all, um, it starts with the engine to deploy an software 
a software-based environment with all of this composable network and uh, service resources. It has this virtual network functions in a very cloud infrastructure environment. So, and with that, we, we're looking into the architecture. It starts with the design phase and uh, all of this preparation. And finally, we deploy and monitoring this slice. So in our case here right now, we look into a practical example from V2X telematic service for an enterprise that uh, a service provider provides a service uh, to an enterprise. It's dealing with uh, a race car uh, company and uh, looking for a sliced service to ingest all of the telematic service of the particular cars. So what we see are different parameters that are necessary to define. And in our case, we're focusing here purely on the security parameters. And what we see here is, is a concrete example of what kind of parameters are in, ingested. So here, the zoning concept, for example, or the infrastructure and orchestration security, access control, audit compliance, even also the separation of different certificates, encryption, and finally also endpoint. And when it comes to endpoint, that reminds me also to look into our threat intelligence report from Nokia, because it gives some insights about all of the upcoming threats and malware right now. And especially also it highlights uh, the Internet of Things IoT devices that are completely under attack right now. And uh, just to give you an KPI, in the last year, from 2019 to 2020, we have seen a 100% increase of infection rates purely for the IoT devices. So a good reason also to protect the security from an endpoint. So then it starts to design and finally the de deployment and monitoring of these uh, service and here we see actually that the company is dealing with uh, race cars takes benefit of this particular slice and it goes into execution in a new virtual uh, environment for security functions including the chaining also the allocation and finally also the isolation for this particular security service so with that um, we see uh, a company here in our case it's charged racing and the person on the right hand side is the it administrator so in a cybersecurity dome, which comes from Nokia, it provides the security as a managed security service, uh, as a security as a software. And uh, it's an easy way actually also to monetize security. And that brings me back also to the handout section. So if you want to hear more about this, uh, look into the handout section and download the uh, monetization handbook, because that gives a bit more insights about how to monetize 5G security services. All right, but now actually we look into how to protect the slice in a uh, 5G environment with the right tools that are XDR driven. So this table here uh, represents the group of different sliced services and we see here the entertainment, uh, healthcare and industry. Industry here right now indicates a high risk index and now it starts actually that uh, the security operation team has to start an execution to look into what is the root cause of this increase of risk index. Nailing down, we, the security team will realize it's an automated automotive service that has this increase and and here we see actually the cloud core is the root cause. And in particular, we see the communication between two network elements, the data center of seven and the gateway 11. Here, we, the software has detected an anomaly and sent this information to the security analyst from the service provider, but also to all of the enterprises that are benefiting of the service to give this information to for here, uh, to our IT administrator to start some enterprise uh, security actions out of this incident response plan. But we right now, we look, uh, we continue to look into the service provider view and here especially from the security operations center. And what we see right now is the software actually starts the analytics to understand that the root cause of this anomaly detection was an employee that has the privileges to uh, send data or ingest some data and here in our case, it's JDO14, who did uh, some anomalies in the last 24 hours. So after the analytics uh, came from the software, it gives us a recommendation of the next upcoming mitigation processes. Because these are the KPIs, so an early detection, then ideally to eliminate, eliminate the decision-making time, and then also be fast on a mitigation time to reduce the cost of breaches. So with that, back to you, Rodrigo. Thanks, Gerald. 
And then just to finalize, um, basically, uh, we are not starting from scratch. We have many customers um, around there. We have just selected some of the uh, recent ones uh, with which we are uh, uh, very active at the moment. One of them is Dish that selected uh, Nokia basically to, to secure uh, the 5G network, the, the, the slice creation process and so on. We were also selected uh, by NIST uh, for a, a federal 5G cybersecurity project. Mm -hmm.